Today I'm going to talk about three photos which have been exhibited at the National Portrait Gallery for the Taylor Wessing Photographic Portrait Prize. The first photo was taken in the year 2000. This was for the John Cabell Photographic Award, which was what it was originally called the National Portrait Competition. And this was a photo of my dad and me. This is the title of the photo, I call it Dad and Me. At the time I was interested in exploring through photography my relationship with my father and I asked him to go to the shops I gave him some budget. So the idea was he would go and buy two outfits, one for his size, one for my size. We then dressed in that outfit and then came to the studio and did a self-portrait. Shot on film, medium format, transparency. This is the, um, the book from the awards. So it's John Cabal, 2000. And the shot is this one here of me and my father. And I wanted this sort of relationship between us, which was, um, Something that was close, but at the same time sort of distant. This is kind of ambivalence, which I was interested in. The sort of intimacy, but also there's a strength between us, but also we're not, we're not sort of looking at each other. We're looking quite serious. So I went to sort of explore those different sort of assets and complexities of my relationship with him. And it was a wonderful experience to take Dad to the opening. In fact, they used my image on the invite. I remember we, we queued up to enter for the opening night and everyone had the invite and it was our picture of me and Dad in the invites and everyone was looking at us and chatting and so on, as I remember. Um, and it was great to have the shot on the wall. Number 61 East London was a photograph taken in 2013. This is a street photo and it was actually on my street opposite my house and having lived there for some years in Stratford there was a family who lived opposite us and I would constantly see them in the street. I'd come home from work and they'd be out playing and I had this sort of image in my mind of kind of capture that moment. So I knocked on their door one Sunday, it was quite quiet, and said, look, how do you feel about doing a portrait together? And I took a number of photos of them. I wanted a documentary feel, so very natural, but at the same time I knew them, I was on a tripod across the street, I was directing them and so on. And in a way, I kind of feel that this is something that's informed my work, this approach, the kind of advertising from the past, um, but in a documentary form. I do enjoy shaping moments, but having them feel like real moments. And that comes through in my weddings as well, actually. I took this wonderful photo, which I was really proud of, and, and it was uh, entered into the competition. The third photograph that was exhibited in the Taylor Wessing Photographic Portrait Prize at the National Portrait Gallery was taken in 2006. It was a photograph titled Girl Dressed Up East London. The photograph shows a girl in a doorway holding a cigarette. She's got her hair tied back. And there's a sort of confidence about her as she's sort of looking at camera. I remember when I went to the exhibition, I printed the image quite big, and it was in this fantastic spot. And when I bought the catalogue, I opened it up and one of the judges had picked out the image as one of her favourites. She was biased because she was a, um, uh, an editor of a, of a girl magazine, which she openly said. But it did touch her. She described it as, a, as an image of a sign of our times. There was something she just thought of playful about this image, that the girl is older than her years but still quite young. And there was this sort of paradox that she found really fascinating and ambiguousness. Is she performing? You know, she has a cigarette. Is it... Does she smoke? It's not lit. What's that about? Is she pregnant? She could be. It sort of looks like she might be. So there's all these sorts of sort of signs that um, are quite um, ambivalent in it, which I think has captured the imagination of, of her and obviously the judges. And I was thrilled to be entered into it. The story of the photo is that um, Amber, who lived across the road from us, 12 or 13 at the time, she came over to my house, she knocked on the door and opened the door, and there she was with an unlit cigarette with her hair tied right back. And she did a Vicky Pollard impression, yeah but, no but, yeah but. She was just having some fun and dressing up and came over to, to show me and I thought it was hilarious. And I, but I just said, stay there, stay there. And I went and got my camera and I took some portraits of her. And of course it is a performance. She's got a pillow you know, under her jumper. She's holding an unlit cigarette and the lipstick is, you know, the makeup's really bad. And that, that was part of that performance, but of course, when you enter these pictures, you don't give a story of how the pictures come about, which, which is important, I think. You create the image and let people interact with it and see how they read it, and that's the beauty of it. But that's the story of Girl Dressed Up East London, 2006.